DirectFix.com presents The iPad Mini Take Apart Directions Fix your broken iPad with parts from DirectFix.com Use coupon code YT7 and save 7% off your next order at DirectFix.com Warning, this content is intended to be used for informational and entertainment purposes only. You are using this video directions and its content at your own risk. X Micro Solution Inc. makes no representation, warranties, or conditions of any kind expressed or implied. Following these directions on the video will void your warranty you are performing this repair at your own risk. Begin by completely powering down your iPad. Using a heat gun, loosen the adhesive around the edge of the screen. Using the large pry tool provided in the iPad toolkit, begin to remove the touch panel from the iPad. There are four small Phillips screws securing the LCD to the iPad. Two of them will be hidden underneath small pieces of adhesive. Again, use your large pry tool and begin to loosen the LCD out. Similar to iPod Touch models, the internal components of the iPad Mini are hidden behind a large EMI shield. There are 18 screws to remove. The connectors for the LCD and touch panel are secured behind an EMI shield, which is secured by three small Phillips screws. After removing the shield, disconnect both the LCD and touch panel connectors.
Disconnect the battery connector from the motherboard and then use your large pry tool to very carefully lift the battery out. Remove a series of small Phillips screws in order to remove the Wi-Fi antennas. Carefully peel back the antenna cables and disconnect from the motherboard. Remove two small Phillips screws near the charge port, allowing you to remove the speakers. Remove a small shield allowing you to disconnect the rear facing camera from the motherboard. Disconnect the forward facing camera and the headphone jack from the motherboard. Disconnect the small ribbon for the power and volume buttons. Flip the unit over and run a heat gun over the back, loosening the adhesive holding down the motherboard. Carefully lift up the motherboard. Remove four small Phillips screws allowing you to remove the lightning charge port. The charge port is permanently attached to the motherboard.
With the charge port released, you can now lift out the motherboard. Remove four small Phillips screws, allowing you to remove the volume and power buttons. Remove a small Phillips screw allowing you to loosen the headphone jack. Run a heat gun along the top of the unit allowing you to remove the forward facing camera as well as the headphone jack. the fully disassembled iPad Mini. For all your cell phone parts, accessories, and service needs, go to directfix.com now.